In Verin in western Ukraine, all eyes are on Europe. With the Polish border just 50 kilometres away, most residents are used to coming and going as work dictates. Bogdan has worked in Poland, the Czech Republic and Germany. Now, like many here, he's bringing up his two children alone in a single room. His wife has been in Italy for two years, where she works as a housemaid, earning five times her husband's salary. She left because life was no good here. You can see why. We live in bad conditions. And then the kids are growing up. We'll have to pay for their education. And we've started to build a new house. It's little wonder that people like Bogdan want Ukraine to be closer to the EU. When they vote in presidential elections on Sunday, most people in this area are opting for Yulia Tymoshenko, the most pro-European of the candidates. Front-runner Viktor Yanukovych isn't popular. He'd rather see Ukraine developing stronger ties with Russia. No one here is voting for Yanukovych, that criminal. This is the West here. This is the West. Yanukovych will go running to the Ruskies and bring them all here. I don't want to live with Ruskies. Meanwhile, in the town square, Ivan has used money earned in Western Europe to open the family cafe. The name is a wry gesture for a man who's only seen his wife sporadically over the past 10 years. He too is hoping these elections could mean Ukraine draws closer to Europe. We want European values to hold sway in Ukraine. We want to live like they do in Europe. How could we think otherwise? We live in Europe. Time and history might have separated us, but it's obvious, we're in Europe. What Verin residents want is more paid work here to enable them to live a more comfortable life and to visit the loved ones who've already made the crossing into Western Europe.